Hi students, coming to the different types of disk scheduling algorithms. So the different, first let me write the different types of disk scheduling algorithms. The first one, FCFS, first come first serve. SSTF scan scan C or C scan look or C look. So these are the different types of disk scheduling algorithm. Okay. Now let us see the first technique. The first one is first come first serve disk scheduling algorithm. So what is this FCFS? First come, first serve algorithm. So it is the simplest of all disk scheduling algorithms. So when compared, uh, if you check all the different scheduling algorithms, this first come, first serve uh, algorithm is the simplest of all disk scheduling algorithms. So in FCFS, the request or address in order they arrive in the disk seek means whatever the order they are arriving, they are received in, uh, received in that way. First come, first serve. Let me write that point. It is the simplest of all disk scheduling. Disk scheduling algorithm. And in FCFS, the request or address in the order they arrive, in the order they arrived in the disk queue so there you are having a disk queue which is uh, used to store uh, the different uh, so many requests request by the processor so that can be uh, placed in the order they arrived so whatever the order they arrived that will be placed on a queue and it will be taken first come first out okay the first come first out so actually uh, you already know that, that first the data first the uh, data will the data is stored in the sectors so to reach the sector first we have to go for the track to reach the track we have to go for the surface and in the surface first you have to reach the platter so first the platter will be there a platter means suppose whatever the hard disk you are taken the hard disk contains a series of disk so this is one cd or another cd and so it's a bunch of cds the hard disk is nothing but as a bunch of cds okay so let us take this is a disk so the disk consists of series of tracks these are all the tracks so, in, within the tracks, you are having the sectors. The sectors are used to store the, in the sectors only, the data will be stored. So, in the sector, the data will be stored. So, actually, we call this as a platter. This is all the bunch you call it as a platter. So, first, uh, if you want to read the data in the sector, so this is a sector. And here, this you call it as a track means in whatever the position you are taking this is a track okay so a uh, platter a platter consisting of some uh, surface a surface is above at the below whatever it may be this this is one surface and the surface and the surface is complete a bunch you call it as a platter so the platter is having different surfaces so in each surfaces you are having uh, a tracks a tracks inside the tracks you are having the sectors in the sectors the data will be stored data will be stored okay in the sector data will be stored so first uh, the arm was placed at any position this is the arm let us take this is arm the arm was placed in at any position on the platter okay so to read and write you call it as a read write head read write head the arm is placing a read write head means to read the data or to write the data it has to place the arm on the platter so first 
this arm reach the platter whatever the platter it wants it just reach the platter from platter to it reach the surface the particular surface it will reach so after reaching the surface it has to find out on which track the data will be stored so first it goes to that particular track where the data will be stored once it reach the track it find out the data in the sector so this is how the uh, cycle will go first it goes to platter it finds the platter and next it goes to that particular surface in the surface it uh, find out the track where exact data is present that the data that it wants to read and the data that it wants to write okay and that particular sector the data will be present data in or data out so if you want to store the data in that particular sector or if you want to read the data on that particular sector so this is how uh, the first uh, means the basic introduction of this uh, data read write head the arm is placed on the platter and the data will be read and the tracks and the sectors now let us see this first come first serve uh, algorithm so here uh, a disk is there so in the disk we have to place the data so different io requests are coming and different tracks are coming means a, a tracks that has to be which track has to be served first that we have to be find out so the first let's see the advantages of using this first come first serve the first advantage is every request gets a fair chance so whatever the request that io request that is uh, requesting that that is placed on the track searching for the track that will be get a chance and next no indefinite postponement so there should not be postponement so compulsory whatever the request that io is asking so that will be served so that is advantages in first come first serve then what about the disadvantages the disadvantages in first come first serve is it does not try to optimize seek time does not try to optimize seek time the main aim of using the disk scheduling algorithm is to minimize the seek time but this first come first serve does not try to optimize the seek time that is one of the disadvantage and it may not provide the best possible service so these are the advantages and disadvantages of first come first serve now let us take one example so here i am taking one example first first come first serve that is a disk let us take a disk contains 200 tracks from 1 to let us say 0 0 to 199 so 0 to 199 tracks are there in a disk and uh, another a request queue contains a request queue that is a disk queue contains track numbers so the io is requesting some data so to to read the data or write the data on to particular tracks so that track numbers they are giving that is let us take 82 170 43 140 24 16 and 190 so these are the different tracks track numbers so in that particular track the data has to be read or data has to be write so in which uh, which track has to go first okay that will be we have to be scheduled respectively and next i am giving uh, the arm has to placed on the pallet okay so the arm has to place on the platter so it at at what position uh, the platter has to the arm has to place on the platter so i have to mention the current position the current position of read write head is just i am taking as let us take 55 now i have to calculate calculate total number of track movements of read write head using first come first serve algorithm so i had to calculate the total number of track movements so here this is total number of tracks so the arm has to move each track so i had to calculate the total track movements of read write head 
so that arm how much time it is taking to read all the tracks read write head either reading or writing using first come first serve so this is a question they are given now i have to uh, solve the problem now let us see so i am i said the disc contains 200 tracks so let us take a track like this so actually the track is look like this means uh, this is the disc a disc contains these are all the tracks okay in the tracks you are having the sectors so from starting this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 up to 199 so i am taking so 0 to 199 tracks are there in this disc okay 0 to 199 tracks are there on a particular disc so just simple for understanding i am just taking a line a single line so this is a first track let us assume 0 so inner circle that is a 0 and the outer circle is 199 okay the first track and the last track on the disc so here i'm uh, i said the current position of read right head i am given that is the 55 the current read write head position is 55 so the sequence i have given is 93 176 42 148 27 14 and 180 so this is the uh, request queue contains track numbers these are the track numbers now i had to visit those tracks by using first come first serve so the arm starts at position 55 so and 55 what is the next first come the first come is 93 so 93 is present let us take somewhere here okay after 93 the track is moving to 176 so that is the next come so let us take the 176 is somewhere here 176 so after 176 the first next first come first serve is 42 so it go back to that so 42 is somewhere here before 53 so 42 so after 42 it again reaches to 149 so the 149 is in between 93 and 176 let us take here and here 148 so next next service 148 to the track moves to 27th the arm is moved to 27th track. So the 27 is somewhere here before 42. So this is 27. So after 27, the track moves to 14th sector. The arm moves to 14th sector. So that is before 27. This is 14. After 14, again it comes back to track 180. Let us take 180 is in between 176 and 199. This is 180. So, this is how the track moves forward and backward. Always, sorry, the arm moves forward and backward. Always the arm is moves in forward direction or in backward direction. Okay. So, the arm starts at 55. By using the first come first serve, the tracks it visit, the arm is going to visit first 93 it visit, 93 track, next 176, next it visit 42 track and next 148 track. 27 14 and 180 so now i had to calculate the uh, seat uh, the total uh, the total number of track movements so this is the track movements total number of track movements of read write head means how much time it is taking uh, to read write complete data so that is so directly you can calculate like this this is one direction forward direction backward direction forward direction backward direction so just calculate this first forward direction is from 55 to 176 so you have to take one big number first 176 minus 55 plus next direction so up to here the backward direction is up to here 176 to 42 so 176 minus 42 again it come back to like this in the next position it moves the arm in this direction so from 42 to 148 in one direction 42 uh, sorry uh, big number first 148 minus 42 
plus next from 148 to 14 up to 14 it is moving in one direction so 148 minus 14 plus 14 to 180 that is 180 minus 14 so you will get 661 so this is the total number of track movements of a read write head so this is how you are going to calculate the first come first serve by uh, means placing uh, visiting the tracks on the disk the arm is going to visit the tracks on the disk by using first come first serve thank you